Good morning, y'all. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Welcome to my channel. Let's light a little candle. I should take that wick off. Well, let's just do that. Jeez, I'm going to set the smoke alarm off. Come on. Holy cow, the hard way. I think my little gadget is gummied up. Okay, let's take a breath. Oh, perfect, because I was actually, I've been up here on um, two different sessions <laughs> working on my book. I'm just working, working, working away. Okay, I'm working with Dahlia's kit from Mandalay Cards and More. It's called Whimsical Vintage Halloween. The cover is mostly done. I already know it's not done totally. The signatures are in. I have a couple pieces of ephemera in, um, but really nothing significant. So, I have been, I did a little bit of fussy cutting and inked around the edges of stuff. And I think, I'm ready to start putting some things in these pages. So, let's look and see. Okay, so I'm going to do a video um, deck the year and make tags for all these. So, oh shoot, sorry guys. Mm. So I don't think I'll make a tag right now unless one of the ones I already have cut matches well enough to go in. Um, but I was thinking of, I do think this has to, let's put them on. Let's see if this works. I think that works great there. I went through my glue, cleaned out all my tips. Do I want to close the top? I don't know. Um, Do I want to put glue? Hmm. No, I think I'll leave it open. Okay. It has been decided. Not sure I love that. I love this, but I'm, I I don't know. Well, once I get cards in there, yeah. Don't stress about it, Carol. Just move on. Yeah, I like it. Always have to be careful after I've washed the tips of my glue because the first few squirts is usually pure water. This would match on this page right here. I kind of, sort of, played with my new cart this morning. 
sort of. I mean, I've set some limits for myself. Must get this book done. Then, I think I want, I think I do. I want to put rivets in there. I thought I had some out. Do I have some out? I think I do. Yes, I do. Yeah, get this book done, then, and in this order, clean my room. I can't even, can't even think. It's so bad. Doug brought his friend up here to see the cart. He might go get one for his shop. And even though he doesn't know a blasted thing about a craft room, and he wouldn't know a messy one from a um, tidy one, I was a little embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. I think, mm, I think I'll cut it off and draw my own on there because I can draw that same design hmm going to have to be glued on exactly right because it won't fit if it's not. I sure had a ball watching Jill's premiere for her new stamps. Jill Norwood over at Greenwood Girl Cards now has a stamp line oh my gosh being sold under Peachy Keen stamps. And I think I misspoke on my video and said it was my creative time. I get those two channels or those two companies mixed up all the time. I get their stamps mixed up. I don't know why. Probably because Jill talks about both of them a lot and jeez. Oh, so hard when you can't see. Doug and his buddy went to um, the wholesale potato cellar and picked us up potatoes for the winter. Now how in the heck does one of them, I can hide one of them and not the other. Oh, darn it. That's got to get cut off. How am I going to do that? Let me see if my Leatherman is up here or my water cutters. Suspend it. It'll still hold it in. I'm going to glue it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, shoot. Does it? <laughs> Did I do? Um. What in the blazes did I do? Okay. Jeez, 
that was hard. Okay, got to move the candle out of the line of fire, literally. Yeah, I think right there is a good spot. Let's grunge it up. Oh, that's a foot. Don't take that off. I hope I can get this back on. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. When in doubt. I even put a little bit more acetone in my Fabri-Tac because for some reason it just is so dried out that it's soaking up the acetone like crazy. It doesn't take very much, though. Got to be real careful. Okay, I like that. I don't know if I'll, maybe I'll put a tab on there. Let's put a tab on there. And I think I'll start putting tabs up here because I don't want them to bump into each other. I might put a pen holder down the center or something, I don't know. We'll see. I have a broken fingernail. It feels funny. I was watching Louise Heinzel. Oh, she has a great channel. Watched Angela this morning make a flip flop zigzag accordion book. That was fun. I watched Tammy Van Antwerp last night. She made some, was yesterday the collages? She's been making some really neat stuff. She did one video of collaging and then stamping, which was really cool. I'm thinking something just real simple right there, maybe. 
We've got this little leftover piece. It's about malaria. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. That'll work. I think it'll stick with white glue. The back of it anyway. I could do a whole nother month of Halloween, no problem. But I don't want to miss the window for snowman. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do a second book. I really wanted to kind of do more Halloween, but I do have one project I saw... I was watching um, Nancy May from The Handy Scandy this morning, actually, and she did some, what did she call them, cone, cone something, they, they're they adorable, run over and watch her channel, they're so easy, you use a six by six, and I have... I know I have some Halloween-ish 12 by 12, so I could get two out of each 12 by 12, which would be awesome. Do I have anything to go on that? Where's all the little... Little, little tabs. That kind of seems like overkill. I really don't care for the way these... Oh, <laughs> that looks great. Let's do that. I don't care for the way these turned out for what I was going to use them for. I was going to put them on the cover but they don't stand up like I want. That's the only downfall of Fabri-Tac. You better be ready to be sticky. Oh, my channel's playing on my TV. Go me. Okay. That's not going to stick. Okay, I can see how this is going to roll. Fun. I'll fix your wagon.
Where'd you go, little guy? There he is. Okay, that is going to stick to everything unless I let it dry. So, sew your buttons. So, this is going to go right here and as a placeholder for us. I hate for this page to be a total waste. So, do we have. Hmm, that would look great there, wouldn't it? We've got one, two, three pages. Ta da! Maybe I should look at this side before we get too much further. This pocket was in the, or envelope, I mean, is in the kit. It comes with tons of ephemera, tons of ephemera. All kinds of ephemera too, so you could go either way. So I, because of the way I made this, I think I'm gonna have to just clip that in. But I do like that, the way it looks there. Oh wait, it's upside up down. So it would need to go on an orange page. Okay, let's put it here. Let me get a rusty Clip. Robin, have you got your package yet? You should have gotten it by now. Let me know if you haven't, and I'll track down that receipt. Oh my gosh, it's a paper clip, Carol. Don't make it hard. Okay. I like that there. All right, now maybe we should match them. Yeah, let's match them. the top of this other one I don't remember yeah
It's hard working with black paper once your fingers get all gummied up with dye and or ink and uh, yeah, it gets the, yeah, yeah. You guys know, I know. All right, so do these work? Oh, they do. I think that one's probably too big. Let's put a tab on, just for good measure. Ooh, this looks like a good page. I just love what tabs do just because they make a journal just seem so I don't know custom and individual and kind of have their own little style I just love the looks when a journal has a lot of tabs I won't have a video tomorrow. We have tons of appointments that are going to take all day. So I don't have a video. I won't have a video. That's Tuesday. Um, but I will have, I hope to have one on Wednesday. And I'm going to wrap this book up. That's the goal. This one will fit. did so and this one is another one that opens hmm I think I'll clamp that one in with something but not right this minute what else I got no, I have a, pretty sure I cut out some corners. Mm, that's a fun one. I'm like, wait a minute. It's a coin envelope. I forgot it had this. I don't know if I want two things the same size right there, though. No, I don't think I do. So... Dahlia, you just did such a great job with this kit. Hmm. Oh, here's one. I 
let's do that. This will match that page perfect. Right, like so. Yeah. I don't want it on the corner. And I don't want it to cover up my stitching, so it's going to go just like that. And... This is the cool part about digitals, is you can just use up all the ephemera and you don't have to save stuff because you can print it again. And I was experimenting with paper when I got this digital kit. So I um, have multiple copies of everything. So. I, if I have a need for some softer, just regular copy paper, I can do that. I think that would be okay there, but I want to back all these, so maybe I better do that before I get much further. piece of paper that I was going to use when I went out. Ooh, I have some paper bag stuff. I wonder if that would be cool. Nah, I don't think I better try that. Fall is definitely here. It's not going anywhere. We're in the high 60s today, but this morning, Doug and I were both freezing when we woke up. This is two sided there. Yeah, you can't really go out without a jacket because you're not sure if the wind's gonna blow. So. We've had a beautiful fall though. Really can't complain.
Man, oh man. Doesn't look like that one got inked. It got missed. Um, I know the lines are going to be the other way, but who cares? You can write on it sideways, right? I'll have time to dry. It's pretty heavy cardstock. This is actually um, presentation paper. It's pretty heavy duty. I just didn't like the white on the back. Okay, let's give that a chance for the glue to soak up on both sides. So we have the first two pages, and we're waiting on cards. And the tab. That looks a little blank. Oh, I just love those that bright red. Um, hmm. I feel like it just needs a little bit of black to match the other page. And if it goes over, that would be fine. But I want it ruffled or frayed or whatever that is. So, oh, wait. Okay. I gotta put this on first. Because if I put it on after, it will go right through to the paper. Oh, it's already starting to dry out at the tip because I left it undone. Bad glue mom. Bad. Mm, sounds like Doug. Okay, let's put you right just a little to the left because you know you're going to hang over.
Yeah, we picked up. If you go to the potato sellers, you know, where they process them all, they usually have a little front office and you can actually buy boxes. And we got a 50 pound bag of bakers. They're big. For twelve dollars. That's a great deal. <laughs> Excuse me. guys I'm all tangled up in my sewing machine cord okay I can't close that it's wet but it will hold a very cool card let's just see let's put something under there because I don't trust it to not to glue right down yeah all right, I'm going to have to call this a video because I've got stuff drying and I don't want to get so in a hurry and i got to wash my hands. Oh, yikes. Oh, y'all. <laughs> okay. Let's all take care of each other, y'all.